flashed on me. I've been flashed. I don't believe it. Imagine that. Imagine what? that. Yeah, I'd be I'd be reacting like that if I was you, dude. Not gonna be happy with that. Pas what are you saying? But now you're dead. YouTube, what's happening? It's Samardo, and to continue on with the SMG theme, today's video is all about the LC10. And I'm just gonna be straight up right now. This gun is gonna be a problem in Verdansk. Here's the current build. Tried a few different things in different games of course, and this is the build I'm happiest with. Feels the best in my hands, you know. It always packed a bit of a punch, but since the bouncing patch last week, it definitely feels like it's gone up a notch, you know? It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? The movement speed is great, both player movement and gunfight movement speed with your strafing and what have you. And the TTK on this bad boy is pretty nice. And this isn't even the exact quickest build you can get. You can modify a couple more attachments and get the movement speed even crazier. The only obvious downside is that it does E3 bullets quite quickly. But if you whack a 55 round mag on his beast, then you're not really going to have a problem with that. But yeah, I strongly advise you give the LC10 a go. Even if you don't want to try this exact build, make a build yourself and go and enjoy it. Trust me. Check it all out yourself now. A mixture of clips from Solo and Duo Plunder, but enjoy. You're lazy, dude. Can't be camping in cubbies when your laser's sticking out. <laughs> Get down, my bro. Nice drop shot, dude. I'd be, I'd be reacting like that if I was you, dude. Got you, bitch. Oh, I didn't see anything then. Oh, never. Oh, his mate's here. They're both noobs. He prends pas ses balles.
demon coming towards him. This game is so buggy. Full send it. See? See? It's always worth re-challenging, man, because people don't expect it. I know he was weak. Obviously he went down that quick. But you were not expecting me to challenge re-challenge that corner considering how weak I was. Pop dead and get him back down the corner. Just another example of why it's always worth re challenging a fight. Because you never know. You know. The better the player is, the more he's going to expect it. But in standard lobbies and Warzone, people are going to get absolutely bamboozled by a re challenge. And not even Warzone, just Call of Duty in general. It's always worth it, to be honest. On you. Got your back, Jack. Oh! He's in That's rude.